Okay, so that should be fixed, but I need you guys to let me know. sound do you think? Are you hearing anything? Excellent. Okay, all fixed. And let's get going. So apparently all the quests in Giza are super great, <laughs> which gives me lots of incentive to actually do them. I must be careful now. Jai badge. The gods are smiling. You are a true hero. Keep quiet. Head down. Bit old to be playing such games. But we loot some tombs. Have I helped another criminal of Egypt? Oh, that is right. You are a Medjai. No, not a criminal. I'm an opportunist. Uh, I know your kind. What did you dig up this time? It sure caught the eyes of those bandits. A ring of unparalleled riches. As you can see, Put him back everyone in the wants it. Those bandits dragged me around trying to find it. Me? I just want what it is worth. You think I enjoy being a scavenger? Yes. Hmm. Come, follow me to my palace. My safety is your duty, is it not? You saw how dangerous it is out here? Uh, I suppose. Yes, my very own Medjai. What a treat. I thought you were all buried beneath the sands of time. Not all. You should join us. We could use a strong warrior like yourself. To get you out of all the trouble you get yourself into. Yes, it is hard out here for us, you know. Bandits are always up our asses. Then you should trade this ring and be done with it. I know, but Giza has so much wonder and mystery. You just have to look hard enough. And the rewards, oh, the rewards. Whatever you say, buddy. Where'd he go? Oh. Okay. Aha! That is my palace! Up ahead! Looks extremely palace. <laughs> Nepti! My Seni! Ah, why didn't you come searching for me? I was locked in a cell for days! Nept, where's the ring? Okay, calm down! Rashid Yazid! Who is this? This is my brother, gonna help us find the ring. Are you serious? Okay, yeah, why not? I've got time. Ha! Luck is always on your side. Isn't it over? If it was, I'd have my ring. Our ring. Yes, <laughs> yes. These guys. That ring is worth millions of drachmas. Cleopatra would lay you if you gave it to her. We should check for our other brothers. They have the ring. There are bandits all around here. I'll start there. Rashid went south. Likely ran into those bandits camped by the Sphinx. The fool. Yeah, he's Rashid gonna help is him. in danger. He is a major. I have to get him out of that bandit camp. And those bandits are worse people than these guys. These guys just want a ring. The bandits are actually killing people. Uh. I'm right. Well, I mean, I hope I'm right. <laughs> Great Sphinx discovered. That's good that we have a warp point for, for this. 
The Great Sphinx. It is smaller than I expected. So the hyena quest is somewhere around here. But we're going to finish these first. Because they're also not terribly long. Today's sequence will be pretty short. I guess they don't have prisons. Um, not at this point, I guess. Not really. I mean, they might, but they wouldn't be super huge or anything. People would just be, like, put to death or fined or something. That nice double damage. Today's sequence is pretty short. Breaks down crying. Aw. Sorry, ghost. To make up for it tomorrow is pretty long, I think. Well, certainly longer. Here's the Kent Cause hideout. I'm gonna get in the grass and attack people if I can. Two treasures. Two targets. Let's begin. So that's one target over there. I think I'll wait for him to be isolated to a degree. In the meantime, I'm just gonna come here and steal these. And he's moving that way. There's another treasure here that I need. The rest of these guys could be tough to take out. Oh. Okay, they're actually gonna come at me. How do I want to play this? They're going to be looking straight at me, so... Ah, uh, that's got to detect. Yep. Oh well. Anyway, these guys are all going to die. Whoa, easy, easy. So dead. Rogues do so much damage. You pay for that. Just doing my duty. As pleasing as that might be. Oh, he should burn while he's asleep. Okay. You are mine. He's also bleeding. <laughs> dead. Wow, fired a warning shot right next to him. Fucking epic. Got him lined up. Damn this dude's out dry. Jesus, I sleep clouded off of his burning flesh. That's intense. You are mine! Can I assassinate this guy? Yes I can, and I can overpower the other guy. We started off with some decent stealth earlier, even though there was no sound, and we started off with some decent combat now. Get some variety because of weird smoke detection, weird smoke mechanics, and also my dude deciding to do an air assassinate even though I'm on level ground. Uh, bike. Okay, that's a good shot. Nice. That's it. I'll find this dude. Where the fuck is he? Okay. Alright. 
Why do you need treasures? Isn't everything upgraded? Just because, you know, the location is here, I might as well finish it. Finishing location still gives XP, and XP gives master skills. I'm pretty strong, but I can be stronger. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? Rashidi? Huh? You know my name. I'm here to get you out. Is it collecting all the detects? Yeah, from previous streams as well. Alright. Let's carry this guy out of here. Great. Can't even loot something without... This ring you have found is certainly sought after. You know about the ring? Oba and Nepti said you might be in trouble. I think you would all be better off giving up this life, hmm? We could, if we had the ring. Wait. You mean you don't have it? Turo punched me straight in the face and took off to the Hemon tombs to trade it. Uh, who is Turo? <laughs> A brother. Ah, of course. I will go make sure he is all right. Go back to your brothers. You'll be safer with them. <laughs> Hardly. Hey, Kirk, I wonder what tale Turo will What is your fave AC beside the first? I really like this one, and I really like Brotherhood. I also like Revelations, because Altair's in it. Describe Sif in one word. Troll. I knew it. <laughs> I just wanted to get confirmation. And forth we go. Is that guy dead? Those are just ropes, right? Good to know. Uh, this must be Turo. What's this? Ah, uh, his hand was eaten. The hyena must have swallowed the ring too. Ah, this is absurd. <laughs> the, the stupidest quest. Explains the whole, hey, why does this animal have like a freaking magic ring? Why did this wolf drop a bear skin? Have you ever played Arkham Origins? No, I've played Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. I've played the beginning of Arkham Knight. I should finish it. I liked that game.
Oba, Nebti, and Rashidi were looking for. Time to put an end to this. Let's go. going to die to these guys oh man horse combat on nightmare is insanity insanity and a half broken tbh they are pretty broken this game is not balanced at all on nightmare like they just Whoa. beefed up stats without consideration for what it would do but people asked for a higher difficulty so they got one <laughs> news you lost the ring you lost the ring you lost the ring Turo is dead oh tragic and the ring yes quite unfortunate and what of the ring did you find it I found it their dude did you not hear me about Turo this mess is their fault give it to me my Medjai come on this man. I should be on my way now, brothers. Are you not sad? Your friends have died. In Giza, a friend dies every day. Ugh. Where is it? Neck! The ring! Hilarious. And they just get to look for it forever. Now, at the base of this pyramid I fail, there is a quest as well that's like on mark. Use of the hood, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like in Giza, a friend dies every day. So good. Something has spotted me. I don't think it's here. Is it on the other side or what? Down there. No, it's just a palm tree. The easiest way to find it is to do the viewpoint. I guess that's true, so let's do the viewpoint.
Did you like Light Yagami? Yeah, he's a cool protagonist. He's an intriguing character, and I feel that he and L play off of each other very well. Question for you, did you like Ryuk? of him at times he was funny I thought it was kind of badass that he kept his promise he was like remember Raito someday I'm gonna write your name in this book and then he did and it was awesome pyramids the one time parkour is a puzzle someone yeah Probably uh, that and the Pharos, I think. The tower in Alexandria, the lighthouse, are the only really huge ones. What fool would set up camp out here? I should have a look. Okay, Sliding noise. <laughs> yeah. We gob. Wake up. Wake up. What luck you're right. Here, stand up. Damn, I thought you're lying on it. Lying on what? What happened? My notes. I'm a geographer. Cortesius, nice to meet you. Looks like we were attacked. They emptied my pockets. Took my notes too. You might want to check your pouch. You too? I should have known better than to travel the desert on my own. I'm going to find those thieves. They ought to pray to all their gods that my notes are undamaged. Yeah, we're lucky enough to be alive. What do you remember? Remember? I was clubbed in the head. I only recall the sound of a horse galloping away. There might be tracks. Stay here. Tracks? You cannot be serious. Mm -hmm. These tracks are fresh and lead southward. If I am lucky, they have not yet disappeared beneath the sand. So this quest has a few stealth checkpoints, or one big stealth checkpoint, rather. And if I remember it correctly, it could be pretty fun. The thieves fled towards those ruins. Yes, they did. Whoa. I just ask Leo, he's basically the AC Wiki. Hey Leo, a son of a girl? Senu is a female eagle. A Bonelli is eagle.
What is a child doing out here? It is dangerous. I'm just finding things for Anta. What are you doing here? I'm a Magi, looking for some thieves who came this way. Did you see anyone? Oh, uh, no. No one. Are you here alone? No, um, I mean, yes, alone. That boy is hiding something. Someone has dug their way through here. Too small for me. There must be another way around. In fact, there is. You can make it daytime. I know I could. I really could. Thought for a child to be playing here, no? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what do you mean? Look, I have no idea I was looking for some stolen items. Looks like you could help me. I don't know what you're talking about. My child, you are not at fault. I am here to help. Uh, we hid it in Menkaure's pyramid. I'm sorry, we had to do it for Anta. I'm sure Anta is a good friend. But Giza is no place for such foolishness. Explore Minkaure's Pyramid to recover the stolen items. Alright. We shall do so. Daytime wouldn't help inside a tomb. So there is no point anymore. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. I am going to use my skill point. I'm actually going to start getting these. Hmm. We should explore down here. We may have finished the location, but we're not done the quest that's in it. That will require a little deeper exploration. of the ancients. 
Forgive me, Greater Moon. I have need of this. Quite the swing. <laughs> I love the way he interacts with kids, it's great. Just how many of you are there? Only my brother, sister, and I. Don't harm them. I'm the one responsible. I want the note you stole from the Greek geographer you knocked out. And I want my money back. We've given everything to the bandits from the hills west of the Hemon tombs. They have Anta too. And won't give her back unless we steal for them. Who is Anta? Our protector. We were going back to Memphis when they took her. If we don't do as they say, they will kill her. Bandits will profit from children. Nekatiadets. Get your siblings and stay out of sight. You have my word. I will return Anta to you. Leo, how's your day going? It's going okay. I suppose my friend bought a new computer. So he came over to ask me for, you know, what programs are good and all kinds of cool things like that. And I also made a little guide on fun keyboard shortcuts that you can use on Windows 10. I posted it on Twitter. I'll probably post it on the Discord as well later. I've been getting sleepier earlier these days as well, which is probably just like a symptom of uh, how little sleep I was getting before. So that kind of makes sense. But other than that, I'm just like, I'm enjoying this game. I'm excited to play more. This is the camp where Ante is being held. The children gave every. Okay, so there are a bunch of people here, and nighttime is going to help us out because most of them are asleep. Hey! Danger past. Hey, you're fire. Who's causing it? Thank you. I got something. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'll kill you. Yeah, I will find so you. Got you. Whatever. At least it's just a localized one. Was hidden in the butthole. Oh, 
Wanna go this way. And there's a treasure here. Well actually sleep that guy. What hang on? Oh hey! Something's going on. Yep, you're walking to the cloud. I might as well take these guys so they don't wake up. What? What? I should not have come here! Holy fuck. Your Anta, their protector. You know your way back. Come on, girl. So, Anta, you are a protector too, huh? Oh, wait, this. I need to remove it. Excited, aren't you? I'm gonna do this puzzle because I'm already here. You will see them soon enough. <laughs> I'm right behind you, Anta. Too many more than this. Pick up the skill point. Mm. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. Hello, mentor. I'm really excited for Odyssey. Hey, Levi. Will you do a guide where you can successfully romance Darius without failing? Lol. Hilarious. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it just for you, just because you asked so much. Let's get back. You're leaving Anta behind. Oh, for you. Yeah. I already picked 
up this one, that's why I can't. She's just gonna run by herself, so I'll follow her. I told you to stay out of sight. I know, but this was our fault, and we thought you could use some help. The horseman is much, much bigger than you. Horseman? You haven't seen him. He's the most harrowing of them all. Big and strong. Harrowing. He's the one who took Anta. Hmm. He might have Cortesios' notes, probably using them to locate treasures. I have seen him in the ruins around Khufu's pyramid. I will take care of this horseman. You should leave. Now! I should have a look around the pyramids. I can finally find those notes. Hmm. Do I wait for this horseman to come back to his cave at night? Or seek him out as he roams and terrorizes Giza? I like my targets to be sitting in one place and most importantly not on a horse. I don't hate bikes outfit but I definitely oh. don't like it. How do you feel about it? I like it. You will get uh, other outfits though as the game goes on that are quote unquote canon. Whoa. So yeah, you just wait. Once we enter the first DLC, uh, you get another one and I'll be wearing that one then. Whoa. Is not. You'll be happy to see this. I missed that like three times. Then you should wait. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna do the quest where the guy says, I have a name? I already did that one. It was in Alexandria, the, the last bodyguard. It's, um, it's the quest for Act 1. So if you go back and watch Act 1, on my channel, I do it there. You are much more serious than my other bodyguards. Hey! I bring good news! My notes! I just, I can't believe it. I owe you my life. Is it over? Are the bandits gone? I, they won't bother you anymore. So you can stop bludgeoning people over the head now. <laughs> Are these the thieves? Oh. <laughs> Easy, friend. There was a misunderstanding. Their hands were forced. And these kids need a safe passage back to Memphis, right? Yes, to the house of Neff, with all the other children. I have not yet mapped out Memphis. It was supposed to be my next stop. Do you know the way? No, but they know their way around. What luck. Come along, then. 
Memphis? Ah, yeah. Of course. Thank you. <coughs> wow, ghost. Wow. Come visit us. And that's all I'm gonna say. So that ended quite happily. to do the main quest. We have another skill card. Yeah. Oh, hi, Leo. Hey, Cola. Enjoying Origins? Yep. Just as much as the first time. Maybe even more than the first time, since I understand the game a lot better now. Victor, I see what you're saying, but I can't do that right now because it wouldn't feel right. To take you back so quickly after action was taken against you, that would just feel weird for everybody there. So I'm not going to do that. Like, you're welcome to come here, you're welcome to chill, you're welcome to, you know, talk with people on, on stream, you're welcome to, you know, just enjoy yourself hanging out here with us, but you need to give it some time, man. Like, it's, it's too soon. Everybody still remembers everything. And it wasn't once, it wasn't twice, it wasn't three times, it was four, five times that you made people very uncomfortable. And... I had to do something about that because people were coming to me, they were talking to me, they were they were asking me to to do something. So, you know, I can't I can't just say no to to people who are like, hey look man, I'm not having a good time here because because this is going on, like I have to do something, right? If the situation were reversed, you would do something. Because that's what a responsible leader of a server would do now like you're not a bad person by any means you're a cool guy that's why i haven't you know banned you from my stream or anything like i said you can come here you can chill you can watch you can chat with us everything's fine but just give it some time and then we'll see what happens then i think that's the best way to go you know just let people forget about it let people like live a little bit and then we'll see how it goes I think that's the smartest way for for you, for me, and for everyone else. I do believe I'm missing drama. But it's not much. It's just normal, normal shit. Well, what do you think? Junk. Be off then. Wow, uh, I just roasted this finished. guy. Are you blind? I have nothing left to show you. But you've much to tell me about the hyena. Ah. Uh. Funny, as it turns out, that happens to be the most expensive thing I'm offering. <laughs> Funny indeed. Delivery upon payment. Do you have enough to barter with me? Yeah, you have sad fee. The now what you can have you to bribe this guy's jokes? The hyena is not her real name. <laughs> easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name is Khaliset. A favor. Some customers of mine took my horse after a dispute. Their camp lies in a quarry just south of here. Take my man, retrieve my horse, 
and I'll give you what you came for. I'll take his horse uh, after. That's what I did on I my first run. I'll Polidoris probably do it again. Company escapes me. This place is full of scoundrels. If Apollodorus wants my continued service. And it's like, was that even his horse? Wasn't the plot twist that it wasn't even his horse or whatever? I wonder how Bayek feels about you being friends killer. With Mered? Ah, Bayek has barely. killed before. He's a necessary ally. You can read the novel Assassin's Creed Desert Oath. And you'll learn how Bayek feels about being a killer. Dude, climb the wall while I'm reading chat, please. Don't just walk into it. This area is off limits. That's a treasure. There's an entrance. Another treasure. Jeez. Am I anywhere close to finding these guys? Oh, they're both in the same place. I see. Are they? No, it's 157 and 156. Okay. Can you cosplay as Ashraf in this game? Um, I suppose. the card. No, I didn't end up using it. Uh, did you go... Did you buy Hades? No, I did not. I just found uh, these. I'll probably end up getting uh, getting more when I get... Getting them, I should say, when I get my money in. Mm -hmm. Where are you gonna get them from? Uh, Amazon. Oh, okay. My buddy recommended a really good pair. Oh, you play with keyboard? Yeah, yeah, I play with keyboard. Generally speaking, it's uh, my preferred way to play. Because it's super easy for the most part. Except for predator bow sensitivity, which is extremely weird. Um, now, I didn't even take Mered that treasure over there. keeps protectors as allies. He doesn't trust the authorities. But he pays well. Thank you, Catch Ledge, for working once in a blue moon. Where the hell is that treasure? Or is it back up there or something? Dude, what? Where'd it go? The icon for it like completely disappeared. Oh no, it's it's there. Okay, cool. Hmm. 
Am I even gonna be able to find this thing? The hell? They have this comic called Batman Dated. Nani. Okay. I see the fucking thing. I do not know how to get to it. You gotta go back. There was some way to get from it inside there. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Let's try. What? Bike, what the fuck? The hell was that? I've never seen him do that before. And that was like a contextual animation too. Freaky. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that? Clip that separately, yeah, for real. What the fuck, man? I've never seen that before. Oh, maybe it's him signaling to these guys. That he's like, oh hey, I found an entrance, you can come here. Because, you know, they don't have Senu, but he does. QX Files theme. Do we want we want? Do <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> uh, I want to believe. The truth is out there. Beautiful details going on. Oh, yes, indeed. Hey, what? That's okay, though. He can have one of those. Hey. After him. off of like touching the dude that was on fire this game is systemic as fuck in all the wrong ways um can i have that guy one more treasure it's that way nice too easy and the horse is there too I am going to come this way. Hey, hold on! Mm, freaky. He's gonna come investigate in this direction. Hey, stop! What the hell are you doing? The fuck? Dude! You just blew my cover! Go, go fight them then if you wanna do that. Asshole. Yeah, 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 you go get him. There you go. That's how you want to play this fucking asshole NPC, man. Welcome, Jose. Can I just, like, run at this dude and be like, hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Uh, 
I can take him down. Nice. One day, one day I'll make poison actually useful, and then, and then I'll show you all. Damn, that was actually brutal. That was pretty brutal. <laughs> Who's your favorite assassin ever? Yeah, Leo's is Altair. That is correct. Leo's is Altair. I like Altair. I like Bayek a lot. I like, um, yeah. I like a lot of them, but yes, Altair is my. This must be Mered's horse. He neglected to tell me his customers were bandits. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time is up. I could also just like. You go. Whoa. Dumb bastard. Yeah. Assassin is Jacob, I like Connor, Ezio, I feel basic for saying that, but good old nostalgia. No, dude, there's nothing wrong with liking Ezio. He's popular for a reason. He's a good character. Hey, hold on. Son of a bitch, I just don't even have the capacity to care about these people. God forbid I fucking decide to move through space. Tears are put in Edwards. TVH, I honestly don't have a favorite. Okay. I don't hate AC, but I'm not his number one fan. I feel like that's fine. No one's gonna begrudge you for, for even not liking AC, to be honest. You're back! Well, look at this! You failed to mention it was in the possession of bandits. Slipped my mind. Hmm. Good. Stronger than mine. I thought you said it was yours. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, of course it is. You've done good by me, my friend. Then you'll deliver as promised. My word is my word. But I have one more thing to ask of you. <sighs> Lang was Done right. with your games. This All is right. The, hood. the hyena lives in a cavern just over those hills. Day and night she roams the desert collecting silica, precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. If I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Don't die out there! <laughs> oh, I won't. I will have a trusty steed. Hey! That's my horse! Cry about it. Remembering Leo's intense freak out of the hidden ones. Oh yeah. Man, I got so happy feeling more like an assassin. but haven't finished Origins yet. I would finish Origins. It's going to be a very similar game. And Origins is pretty good. You crippled that name twice, Ghost. Yeah, he does that. Gives me the... 
gives me the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. I feel like Origins did not have that much assassination animations. You feel that way because it's true. Fucking dumb. I hate that you can't just jump dismount off of a horse. How are you supposed to get off your horse when you're surrounded by pack animals? Ridiculous. This is why Odyssey lets you parry animals. When Fatal Fate saw that Odyssey lets you parry animals, he was like, fucking bless. Like, finally, we have a functional combat system. <laughs> Best way to fight hyenas is a big ass axe. Yeah. The best way to play this game is to not go into menus all the time. Got it. Wait, you can bury animals? Wowzers. In Odyssey, yes. In Origins, no. Heavy blunt. That's what I like to hear. Hoi, hoi, hoi. All right. Let's see if we can headshot people. And by people, I mean beasts. So this is the hyena's lair. No sign of Khalifa, though. Meret was telling the truth. To figure out where she went. Do not, do not let her take me. Poison, good. Help, help me, please. Oh my God, shut up. Now, why would one of her loyal beasts be caged? through the poison cloud. Please get me out! Anthropeagasotete. Mercy! Thank you, Major. The hyena. Where is she? I do not know. I am. I'm the only one left. She took the others away hours ago. Took them where? She kills them. I know it. She. She. Her hands. Oh! Gods! Her hands are so bloody! Peace, friend. You are free. I will deal with Haliset. Where is Haliset taking captives? Um, and why? I'm like an ambivert. Which means I can be introverted and extroverted and be perfectly happy with both. I just, uh. Yeah. Tired today. But I'm enjoying myself immensely. And I get to be in the company of you fine people. So that's pretty good. Now, uh, let's look at this. Khufu's tomb. She has detailed every crevice. Ah, she has not finished. That is where I will find her. I will head to the pyramids. 
You guys ready for some first civilization Isu shenanigans? Because I am. to these games. Can't really tell the difference in Odyssey. Look the way it looks. There's not going to be much difference. The games are just, you know, one year apart. In terms of graphics, there is not going to be much difference. Hainas. must be inside. But, um, in terms of, you know, Here, where silence has befallen her. A Magi who has treaded many dunes to find you. Hide if you must, Hyena. But this tomb will not protect you. I demand that you stop here. Turn back now and I will excuse this intrusion. Siwa was an intrusion. So she's already lit. Foolish man, I am Iset, possessor of magic. The gods live here, not you. What sort of mischief is she entertaining? Yeah, no. We gotta go down. Be gone! Osiris cannot be disturbed! This trap door. What is it protecting? Heathen! The wakeful one is asleep! Go no further, or I will drench these arid plains with your blood! What is this place? A tomb beneath a tomb. Is this where you hide, hyena? This is gonna be hecking awesome. Uh. Now... In places like these, you always want to end this pulse because there's always silica here. What gruesome madness happened here? A dark place with a window to the gods. What kind of ritual is she performing? A dark place with a window to the gods. Yes. Retransmission, segment three, acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 95 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. You must be wondering why I have reached out to you. It was written, you see, that you would come to this particular chamber at this very moment in time. The walls told us of your coming when we once were. Look at them. Are they not fascinating? One of your... These walls tell of a tragic story. A story we transcribed on our structures, on our artifacts. A story we could not alter. A mystery defying this in plain sight. We tried. Our scholars and scientists, poets and physicists, bright minds, rebellious hearts. They all tried so hard to bring about change. They, we all failed. None could change what we discovered, the stories written into the walls of these rooms. By whom, we never knew. We know they 
tell of the future that is, the future that was, and the future that is yet to come. The Zeros? We failed at modifying the line. We failed at adding a single dot. It was clear. We were to be messengers at best. But messengers to whom? To you. We removed our ability to read those stories from your original template. They stripped out Eagle Vision. A doorway that is also a puzzle. We must find a solution. Those were Brutus's words when he visited the vault under the Colosseum more than 2,000 years ago. He drew the vault, sketched it to the best of his abilities, but he could not see. Just as you are blind, you may read your watch, you may read hourglasses and calendars, but you cannot grasp beyond that simplistic surface. For now, the true reading of time still escapes you. And so today, the curtains pulled and the arrows is shown. Tragic and complete. Those walls you might never read. Events yet unfold as written. But something, anything must change. You do not understand what is at stake. The reader has no power. He is but an observer. But the author? The author invents the future. The author owns the future. A future where zeros are avoided. A future where a loved one can be revived by the drafting of a new chapter. A future where humankind is more than it is today. A future where, just perhaps, we can all still exist together. I have a thing to say about that. So this time what I noticed is, you know, I noticed this even before, but when he says, you know, that's what Brutus said when he tried to open the Colosseum, right? Or like the vault, right? More than 2,000 years ago, he's speaking as if it's from present day. These accents, these voices, they're all like standard American accents. They're not the, you know, ethereal, godlike accents that Jupiter or Minerva has, right? They're standard American accents. So what I'm thinking now is, these are not Isu. These are Layla Hassan's allies sending their message back in time, you know, along with her, to be like, yo, we fucked up. Let's go, let's send this message back in time so our past selves can be warned, perhaps, or something like that. Because, remember, um, you know, the whole break the code thing, what if it's not legitimately rewriting reality? What if it's just, you know, rewriting the simulation? That's all they would have to do. All they would have to do is, re is seed this in to the animus simulation, so that when she synced, she would encounter it, and it would warn her, it would get her to start thinking. And then she could, you know, stay the end of the world in present day. Like, that makes so much more sense than this just being, like, Isu with all their, like, calculations and shit. Like, again, because it just doesn't, it doesn't fit, it doesn't add up, right? So that's, that's my thing. That's what I think now, after having played this game once, waited a year, read a bunch of theories, and then played it again. But we'll see how it goes. Odyssey is just around the corner. So uh, we will... Well, I mean, it's it's not a convoluted way to warn uh, to warn this Layla. It would be a convoluted way to warn, you know, future Layla. But this one... Because, like, the way I'm thinking about it is they failed. Like, Layla Hassan in her original timeline fails. She sucks. She, she's done. She tries. It doesn't work humanity is going to die. In a last-ditch effort, they send their message back in time to 
these, you know, pyramids. And that's why Bayek doesn't react to them, because those things never actually happened in his timeline. They're only here for Layla, they're hacked in, right? Like, Bayek doesn't react to them because they're not real, they're just part of the simulation, they're not part of his life, his consciousness, his reality. Oh sure, the, the devices might be uh, here, and he, he has some minor reaction to, you know, the, the technologies, but for the most part he's content to say literally nothing. So yeah, I don't know. Could be a thing. Maybe I'm fucking crazy. This is the kind of analysis that would make sense back in like AC2, but you know, they don't really care as much as they cared in AC2, so maybe... <laughs> Maybe this is all bullshit. Anyway, let's keep playing. Hmm. Alisa drew these symbols here. Was she trying to figure out their meaning? Like, it makes sense, right? They have American accents, not Isu accents. They... They speak as if they're in present day, you know. And... Bayek doesn't react to any of them. It all works out. Offerings to Osiris, protector of the dead. I feel like you put more thought into this than Yubi did. I definitively put more thought into this than Yubi did. <laughs> this sarcophagus is decorated with goddesses of the mother. Strange symbols are marked all over it. It's a translation for your language. That doesn't work, Victor, because it's not about the language, it's about the accent and the way they speak it. No, that's not true. Because look back to AC2, they don't have an American accent. Look back to AC Revelations, they don't have an American accent. And even if you go to the vault, the Isu vault under Siwa, that guy doesn't have an American accent in the same game in the same simulation. So, no, sorry, that doesn't fly with me. It's too inconsistent. One by one, they awaken from their slumber. So many. We extinguished the flame. That's not an American accent. That's a more Isu standard accent. Yeah, I just thought of this just now. Whereas these guys in, in, these, uh, in these mechanisms, they just have an American accent. And they're like, oh, 2,000 years ago when Brutus lived, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, if I were to go to my normal save file right now and go under the vault in Siwa, you would hear that guy's accent. It sounds like the kind of accent Isu actually have from AC2 and Brotherhood and Revelations, right? Like, in the same game, why is that inconsistency there? That didn't need to be there. And it's not, it's not even like a complete random inconsistency, it's just that one guy. You can show it on this save file in a few days. Yeah, boy, we're gonna revisit that shit. I'll be like, hey, you guys remember when I blew your mind about those Isu theories? Yeah, I'm gonna make a nice video about this as well. Anyway. Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. I think I know what Dark Deeds Haliset was after here. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. When she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? The child. It doesn't have to be time travel. It just has to be information transmission, which My already child. exists in Assassin's Creed. You lost your child. Haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the order. Damage this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! 
My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. Whoa, rogues. You're no match for me, desert skunk! We need to equip a different bow for this because this is not gonna work. Um, yeah. Let's do this. She almost murdered me. I'm gonna regen. That's wind. That was about to be another exclamation that died coming. right there. Now I will show you what happens to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. See her through the smoke. You are in pursuit of the impossible, Halisset. No measure of magic can bring our children back. Come only for you, hyena. The gods need not be involved. You have infringed upon Ishe's place of rest, trespasser. The gods are already involved. Oh shit, He's behind me. And so you will find the same fate as all other trespassers. Death by my hand! You hit an overpower on her and managed to do 80% of her health. Dude, maybe I should switch to an axe then. Can I, like, equip weapons here? Let's see what this does. Heavy blunt. Uh, yeah, let's try that. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> your boy. <laughs> the fuck? Trevi. Dude. Dude. Do I walk among the dead now? A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? These symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. 
I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion! She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the Duat Laema? I just want my daughter back! Please! Find your daughter in the afterlife, Haliset. May the Lord of the Duat guide you. Well, holy shit, they can do that. So that appears to be it for today's sequence, however, I didn't finish the Tomb of Khufu, so I'm gonna do it, or yeah, it's, it's that one, I'm gonna go do that and finish it. Seems optional, but highly recommended, and I think it gives me a skill point, so yes, it's happening. Forget to update your map marker. Feels feel feels game design man. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. Yes, it's gonna be great. Jeez, these structures are massive. It's above me. Interesting. Now I should probably go over here. Did I fuck it up? I'm just back here again. And that's where you went for the hyena. Up was right. Huh. Okay. Oh, uh, I remember. 
for some reason I assumed I didn't go that way last time. So I was like, hey, I didn't go that way last time, let's go that way this time. But guess what? I totally went that way last time. When you're too big brain, so then you're actually tiny brain. Feels bad. Is there a teleport? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not gonna fucking get out. <laughs> I fucked up, boy. Yes, it was at that moment that he knew he fucked up. Wait a minute. Well, this isn't claustrophobic at all. can't actually go through that, can I? Oops. Yeah. I thought there was a puzzle to solve. If I was stuck in front of the trap door because I wasn't in the hyena quest yet. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> you thought there would be a banner way back up in case you fall but there wasn't <sighs> I expected too much dude same every time every time an AC game comes out I'm expecting like AC winter revelation level of quality The unwary who unleash the desert sands will be swallowed into the arid depths. Okay. Deep. <laughs> Ancient writing from the old kingdom. Nice, we good. We can get out of here. Oh, 
fuck do I leave? <laughs> okay. Contextual vaults. So pretty, so shiny. Okay. All right. And that's been that. What are you doing? I am being very careful not to walk into a snake, basically. If you had to rate Origins, what would you give it? Like 8 out of 10? How did you feel about the story? I think Bayek's personal story is really cool. I think that, um, I think that the assassin story could have used more work and been a bit better. Uh, I think that the new arc that it sets up is really cool and I'm very interested to see where it goes. So, you know, breaking the code, um, the Isu transmission, well, if they're transmissions. Um, if they're Isu, I mean, which they are probably not, honestly, all things considered. Um, that stuff is cool. Uh, Layla is an interesting character for me. I enjoy seeing how she approaches things. And, yeah. I think those are, I think it does a lot of good setting up. And it's really on odyssey to pay a lot of that off and you know show me that hey we're not just gonna set up a bunch of plot beats and then let them die and put them in comics we want to actually tell a story this time that would be really cool i really appreciate that uh it does the story does have some very cool moments absolutely like it has its its moments of being an awesome assassin story like capital A Brotherhood Assassin um, but by and large overall I can understand why it disappointed a number of people because it kind of disappointed me too are the same writers that made AC Origins on AC Odyssey um, I don't think so it's being made by a different studio under the Ubisoft umbrella although AC Odyssey looks pretty interesting, so, and I mean, a lot of the groundwork is done for them, so the things that Origins set up, the things that Origins, you know, built, you know, established, the new story beats, the new arcs, Odyssey doesn't have to make anything new, really, it doesn't have to. I mean, it probably will, and it will probably not be super amazing because I would much prefer them to pay off the old stuff and pay attention to the established stuff that Origins brought to the table but the fact that they don't have to put in all these new arcs and all these new characters and all these new uh, plot concepts means that they have a lot more room and, and freedom to just kind of write 
and continue what uh, what's been going on. I love your optimism for Odyssey. I wouldn't even say I'm super optimistic for Odyssey. I'm just I'm just saying like this is my reason for playing it. I want to see what happens next. And and this is what makes sense to me. Like it doesn't it's not saddled with the burden of making all these new story beats. It's not saddled with the burden of introducing Layla Hassan, introducing the Codebreaker story arc, introducing, you know, these new transmissions and this new type of animus and all these new concepts that Origins kind of tried so hard to put all in one game and kind of fell over itself doing so. Hopefully Odyssey will be a more focused experience because it doesn't have to bring us all these new narrative elements at the exact same time, like bang, bang, bang. Yeah, that's why I love it. You have a reason for wanting to play it. It's not just blind fanboyism. You will usually find that to be the case with me. Yeah. Do you feel like AC is a series you as a consumer can be confident in? Me as a consumer? Absolutely. Me as an Assassin's Creed fan? Oh, that one's a little weird. <laughs> it's It's got its ups and downs. It absolutely has its great moments and it has its not so great moments. It has its moments of what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> But yeah, I think any any really huge AC fan will probably tell you the exact same thing. Narrative elements and gameplay elements. Right, exactly. Like, it's basically the same game on a mechanical level. It's got all the, you know, all the basics are there. It's the same stealth with a few upgrades. It's the same combat with a few upgrades. Um, it's the same ranged with a few upgrades. So, again, they can spend a little bit less time doing, setting up all of that from scratch, building it from zero. So, ideally, they can put that time into doing other things, like making the abilities now feel good to use. And I like how adrenaline works, right? Like, when you get a stealth kill, you get an adrenaline chunk. When you get a combat kill, you get an adrenaline chunk. Um, when you... Well, shit, I didn't want to discover Memphis, but I guess Senu fucking flew over it, so... I get to go screw myself. Um, <laughs> that was supposed to be tomorrow. Fucking hell, stupid bird. <laughs> um, rip Memphis, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Trevi's gonna murder me. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like, I, I like the way abilities seem to work. It's not just, you know, you build adrenaline and then you just... And face as Leo. You build adrenaline and, uh... You... You know, it's not like a single chunk and then you burn it and then it's gone. You know, it's multiple segments and you can... I assume you can increase the number of adrenaline segments you have by upgrading the spear, by going to Isu shrines in the world, which is what they said. Not a fan of spears, Leo. Spears are okay. I mean, I don't hate them or anything, but they're not my kind of weapon. <laughs> different uses, too. Yeah, exactly, different uses. Hello, Death Hunter. Sorry for being late. My depression got to me and my girlfriend had to stop me from ending it. I'm good now. Yep, I relate to that. I'm glad that you are still here. And hopefully I can give you something to look forward to. Once this stream is archived, you should go back to, uh, to the moment in the pyramid where I talk about my ridiculous thoughts on what the Isu transmissions mean in this game. I keep calling them Isu transmissions because it's what they seem to be, but I, the more and more I think about it, I, I don't think that's what they are. <laughs> Fuck yeah, fire swords. Oh wait, we had that in this. Yes, Hepsifa sword. Hepsifa, two, two bro. Fire horses is where it's at. Man, that nightmare pack looked so much better. On well, th there's Sakara Nome. I'm on a roll today. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh 
Unless Anna doesn't even wanna Leo and Mini or die. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's just discover Sari. <laughs> uh, fucking hell dude. I just wanna talk to my people and said it was just like call call motherfucker. I wanna find all these regions. <laughs> Yeah, the Nightmare Pack, man, that looked so much better in the marketing than it actually was in the game. I was like, wow, this outfit doesn't look anything like that. I'm finna re-download this, you yep. know. It's a good game. It's gonna take forever, though. It will. It's a large game. It's a, it's a big boy, this one. Wait, you have the Nightmare Pack? I do not, because it makes no sense to buy it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there are plenty of videos on the internet that show off what it really looks like. When it came out, someone posted pictures of it in, in the subreddit, and people were like, oh my god, dude, what the hell? It looks nothing like the like the image. It looks nothing like the promo materials. Anyway, if you guys want to chill for a little bit more, ask a few more questions. I'll probably run it for another two or three minutes, and then I will cut when people get bored. The packs are dumb. Still wanted the outfit. I like the Isu pack because they gave me First Civilization knives, which is like my favorite thing in the world. Probably my fave horse. Yeah, I guess it was okay. I didn't really spend too much time looking at the actual horse. So how about that weather? Well, the weather in Memphis is actually fucked, TBH. It's all poisoned and green. And plaguey. Doesn't feel great. Favorite AC game besides AC1. Brotherhood, Revelations, and this one. Like, I like this one as a game. Obviously, making content for it is, like, cancer. Like, super, super bad. But in terms of just playing the video game, I really like Brotherhood and Origins and Revelations. If you had to meet Bayek, what would you ask him or say to him? I'd be like, thank you for founding the Hidden Ones. If it weren't for you, we probably would have been enslaved eons ago. Honestly, bring back VR training. Same. Shit was not only fun, it also, you know you learned skills because it was genuinely challenging those weren't like pushover missions they were actually pretty hard if you didn't know what you were doing especially the parkour ones i had to restart those many many times the first time i played because you know certain advanced moves back in 2010 i just didn't know about arkham style challenge rooms would be amazing yep i would like that any kind of animacy VR challenge content that isn't just an extra blip on the main world map but you know an actual menu that you go into and you load into like a simulated environment bring vertical jump oh yeah like the the climb leap when you're hanging on a building and you jump up I mean it's basically already in the game they just treat it as default bring jumping manually back that I can agree to. That would make me very, very happy. Mm. A lot of moments in Origins I could have used it, dude, same. Hey, do you think that they'll add modern day sequences like in AC3? <laughs> I, I don't know. There's just like, there's a 50-50 chance. There's just no way to know. Like, I, I'll never say it's not going to happen. 
because it can. Every Ubisoft studio has a different disposition toward present day and a different feeling on present day and they treat it in different ways. So like Syndicate actually have one of the best present days narratively and that was the Odyssey team's previous game. So I think the story in present day in that game will be quite good. Now whether we have, you know, lots of fun gameplay, I don't know. That could go either way. Gameplay takes a lot of assets. Very possible since they had Layla do stealth this year. Yes, exactly. And Layla does find the blade blade. The well yeah, the blade of Leonidas at the beginning of the game. So Yeah. I think Odyssey will start with a little bit of modern day. I think that here's how every AC game starts, right? Think about it this way. Literally every AC game. You do like a little Animus prologue mission that you don't even know is in the Animus, but of course it is. Oh shit, that's a memory wall. Oh my god, that's fucking scary. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, <laughs> whew. um you know, you start like a little prologue in the Animus, you finish the mission, and then you get pulled out, and then it's like, oh, let's establish present day. And then it establishes present day for like a minute or two, max, and then you go right back into the Animus. If the game doesn't start with them in the helicopter, I'll riot, yo, for real. For real. 1k subs is coming, Mentor. It's, it's getting there. It is getting there indeed. I don't know how quickly it'll be there but you know I'm feeling it 70 more yeah I'm oh Jesus well thank you for subscribing the acid network <laughs> that was uh surprising 68 whoa damn <laughs> I think they said it starts a few months after the end of origins did they say that? That could be cool. That makes sense. I sort of, I, I like it when there's a time skip because it means they don't have to, you know, do all this boring trudge, trudge work through, through the end of the previous game. In some cases, it's really nice though. Like it worked out very well in the Desmond Saga because, and speaking of the Desmond Saga, as Toa says, can they bring back William Miles' old voice actor? Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, he's credited as being John Delancey, but it does not sound like him at all. Anyone ever tell you you're kind of an asshole? My son, as a matter of fact. I'm actually kind of excited for Odyssey now. Yeah, I mean, I've been excited for Odyssey for a while, but it's it's been kind of like a half half excitement, you know? Like... I know that my expectations are I should keep them low and you know for the most part I do keep them low so I'm only getting excited about things that make sense that's it that that's how I'm approaching Odyssey I'm just what makes sense you know what's likely to happen okay cool I'm allowed to get hype about that everything else let's chill about it <laughs> hope Odyssey lets you have the option to call recruits like Brotherhood it does that is correct you have an ability called call to arms and it lets you call a lieutenant that you've recruited to fight for you or distract enemies. <laughs> the hell was that? Best keep my mouth closed. What? Oh god. I flew so far away with Senu that the ground despawned under me and I fell inside the level. That is amazing. Render distances, please. Oh, it's because of the sandstorm. Because it had to bring me back to Bayek, but it couldn't load fast enough. Holy shit. Are we okay, Rogue? I guess the stream is over now, lol. <laughs> Uh, breath of fresh air. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can just fast travel like a maniac. 
first glitch I've seen in this game. No end stream. Okay, I mean, I can keep going for a little bit longer. A rip. A ripperoni. Leo, I told you, you need that Spider-Man. I wish Poison worked on Nightmare. I actually figured out why Poison is useful. Leo, I was running to Walgreens today and accidentally fell in some kind of hole and my foot turned the wrong way and now it feels weird. Why am I telling you this? Just cause. Turn your foot the wrong way. Well, you're telling me because you know that I will try to offer you some kind of advice. Or at least make you feel better. Historically, I've been pretty good at that, so you're more likely to uh, to tell me poison is useful. Yeah, but poison is like it's like extremely situationally useful. Like it took me basically three playthroughs to figure it out. But and the, and it's so stupid. It, it's so it's so stupid. The reason it's useful. But um, regarding ghosts thing. Uh, twisted your foot it works on normal it works on every difficulty but it's not a kill tool it's a it's a setup tool so here maybe maybe I can find one to show you I already finished that one um, are there any camps that I haven't done no, I've pretty much done all of them all of them in the area at least well, I haven't done this one. Let's go here. And I'll show you. Regarding your twisted foot ghost, um, make sure that when it hurts less, move your foot around a little so that it doesn't, you know, stay shitty. <laughs> Switch to poison. The status effects are OP in this game. Yes. But poison in particular is interesting. So this guy's 56. Uh, if this works, this could be pretty good. It is a bit too far. Let's get closer. After playing this game, I understand why Kojima put reflex mode in MGS5. Same. <laughs> okay. So you see how... Oh, never mind. I can do it. What about if I equip a weaker bow? Like this one. Oh, that wouldn't actually do much. How about this one? Aha! You see, I cannot headshot this man. Actually, let's try it with uh, this one. I cannot headshot this man. When you hit an enemy with a poison dart, it does not cause a detection but it slowly ticks their health down. Hey, you, stop. And if their health is ticked down sufficiently, uh, Hold. the idea is you can then headshot them. So I actually did this today in this stream. Ashbro is OP for the distance. If you go closer, it won't do so much damage. That's interesting. But yeah, I, I did this on stream earlier today, actually. So the idea is, you know, if you sleep dart a guy, you still have to go in and hit him with your blade, right? Which is dangerous because there's sight lines all around him. There's guards looking at him. But if you tag a guy with a poison dart, wait until his health goes down a bit, and then slap him with the headshot you can kill him from range while staying in stealth. That's why it's there. It's it's there as a setup tool. You're never going to kill someone with poison unless you're, you know, 
playing on easy and um, you know with like scaling off and your level ridiculous so yeah I, you know I wish they kind of explained that but that's fine this guy still has a fuck ton of health probably we might be able to kill him now though He's a brute, too. Oh, no, he's not a brute. He's way more than a brute. See, like, his health is pretty low. But not low enough, so we tag him with another one. Hey, you! Stop! Now he's taking his damage. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And ideally, we should be able to shoot him eventually. It works better with predator bows for some reason. God's here, I'm Probably because their damage is consistent and dependent of range. But yeah, that's basically how that works. <laughs> time is up. Die. Give me some time. Mm, I must push those on. are puking everything. One of them wants to over here. Fire. To me. Buy me some time. That would be okay. That guy's still kicking down. Oh yeah, arrow actually hurts, so I should you know, be mindful of that. Dude, this dude is fucking going crazy. He really is. Die, idiot! Okay. Yep. No problem, friends. But yeah, um, I don't know why I couldn't demonstrate it with a hunter bow, but literally today when I was doing the quarry, getting that guy's horse. Well, it's not his horse, but. You know, getting the horse for that that scoundrel dude. Um, I tried to predator headshot uh, a captain. I saw that it would not kill him. I tagged him with a poison dart, waited a moment, went for the headshot again, saw that it would kill him, got the headshot. Berserk is useful on ultra big dudes. Yes, Berserk them, make them sleep, they die without going crazy. Juggernauts, we call them. How do you feel about Spider-Man, the character? I like Spider-Man. If I'm close enough to Berserk, I might as well kill them. Because I can one-shot the smaller guys with the Predator bow. Yeah, yeah, he's talking about Juggernauts, who you cannot one-shot no matter what you do. Berserk is the only way. How's everyone doing? Hey Cleaner, I saw you're a very recent subscriber. Thank you for joining us. If you had to meet one person from the Discord in real life, who would it be? That'd be so. I just broke a lot of people's hearts, but like, I have to pick just one? That's brutal. That, you know, that breaks my heart. I want to meet fucking everybody. Everybody, man. But I mean, Lang isn't in the Discord, so you should have said Pi. I've already met Pi in real life. Lang isn't in the Discord, so that was dodged. Um, Kola, as far as I know, isn't there either. Let's all meet. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. I'd like that. I think Ghost would be hilarious. 
If I could meet him, he'd probably make me laugh. I just joined. Oh, welcome. And, yeah. But it would have been a dodge to the question. Oh, that makes sense. Fuck, I didn't think about it. It would have been so true, too. Actually, if I had to meet one person from the Discord in real life... I can't even really admit to that publicly. I'm shy. But yeah, there there is someone I'd like to I'd like to meet. I'm shocked you wouldn't want to meet Sif IRL. I would love to meet Sif IRL. Dude, what? I'm thinking of JC. No, 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 fuck that. Dude, I would no, man. I wouldn't want to meet JC in real life unless I had like a fucking entourage of three other people with shotguns around me. Be like no sudden movements. The the way America looking out fuck around move to Canada anyway, lol. <laughs> True. I mean, you'd be welcome. <laughs> this is America. <laughs> But yeah, so that's why poison is useful. Probably better with predator bows than anything else. Like if you want to headshot a big dude and you can't, poison him and then do it. It's also good if you're like, don't have full hidden blade upgrades. Or you're trying to blade someone above your level. Lion's cry. Yeah, I remember that one. Showed people how to get it. Bam. This one does poison, right? Pretty sure. <laughs> I wish sleep on hit was consistent. Like it happened 100% of the time. Then it might actually be useful. Oh shit, the first time I got credited in a video. Yeah, you remember. <laughs> Shout out to SSJ Lang, who totally taught me how to find that shit. I like the Trank Arrows in Odyssey, you can do a full non-lethal playthrough if you want. But that could be pretty hard. I don't know, well, I mean, yeah, maybe. You still, like, the way they work is you still have to do enough damage in order to KO the target. So if you pull back a non-lethal arrow and you see the damage prediction say that it won't knock him out, like it won't take out all of his XP, all of his HP, then you know, you would you would break stealth, you would have to fist fight him or whatever. But yeah, you do get XP for takedowns and you choose whether it's lethal or non-lethal when you sneak up behind a guy. Two separate buttons. Alexios is a terrible meme. Same. Like, almost everyone I know is playing Cass. <laughs> like, Fatal and Sif are playing Alexios because I quote, he's such a cartoon. Well, that's a good way of putting it. is a safe place. Would you try an only lethal playthrough? Not on my first run, I feel like that would bore me in an Assassin's Creed game. There are too many interesting abilities and mechanics, most of which are quite lethal, and I want to play with those. But, you know, on something like a second run, where I you know, like a challenge playthrough, I would absolutely do non-lethal. Non-lethality is something I really like in video games usually. Just not in Assassin's Creed because they make it so boring in Assassin's Creed. Like, non-lethal in Dishonored is actually fun as fuck. Non-lethal in Metal Gear is like the way you're supposed to play. You know, same thing in Splinter Cell, right? But in Assassin's Creed, like, it's just not supported. 
sometimes it's there, like a, a shred of non-lethal systems exists, but it's almost always just like a knockout mechanic, and you don't even really have a, you don't even really have um, a proper distraction in most Assassin's Creed games. Like, Unity gave you cherry bombs, and it took us half a fucking year to figure out that enemies have to be able to look at them. What? What face? It's a sound item. Trying to do non-lethal combat in Dishonored is really fun. Like the shit I came up with. AC Syndicate non-lethal would be impossible. Yeah. We're trying to see which ending we're going to get. Revelations gave us cherry bombs, really. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yes, it did. I keep forgetting about Revelations bombs, even though the reason Unity has bombs is because Revelations did, but they worked there. They did work there. Yeah. Crazy. The AC1 engine. So good. So advanced. Ahead of its time. Revelations did it better. Revelations did many things very right. It really did. Many, many things very right. Even, like, Revelations felt like Ezio's version of AC1. Because when you, when you explored Constantinople, it has, like, the warm tones and colors of an AC2 city. Like, of something like Florence, right? It's very orange, it's, it's very warm and vibrant. But also it has, like, the, the mood and, and sound atmosphere of... Uh, of AC1 cities like Damascus, and that was really cool. You guys know Freedom Cry had cherry bombs? Yeah, yeah, had firecrackers. You could throw them, distract people, make them move over to them. Nighttime Constantinople. Man, Nighttime Constantinople with the Investigation soundtrack playing in the background, like literally titled Investigation. My favorite stealth theme. When I write stealth sections for my novel, I listen to Investigation in the background from the AC Revelations OST. Amancio directed Revelations and Cherry Bombs actually worked. What the hell happened? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's my question. Freedom Cry had firecrackers. Yeah, dude. Adewale was manipulating attention left and right. I love Ade and Edward's relationship. Like their their alliance and and their brotherhood is so cool. Wait, you're writing a novel? Yeah, I've been doing it for a long time now. A few years. Every time someone asks me I say I'm pretty close to the end because I am, but my secret is I haven't worked on it for twelve months, maybe more. Like, I haven't really sat down to do anything with it because my my soul is just captivated by different things nowadays. I like it. I like writing. Sometimes I sit down and I do, like, a page. But, um... Yeah. It, it's not that I don't enjoy it. It's just that I love doing other things so much more. It's not like I'm avoiding it or whatever. It's just making vids is so much fun. Streaming is so much fun. Um, talking about game design is so much fun. Finish it. Just walk up to the book and be like, down, down, forward, forward, down, forward, punch. <laughs> There's gonna be somebody who gets that joke. <laughs> The Philakis equivalents in Odyssey need to have different weapons each. Yeah, Philakis are replaced by the mercenary system. I'm gonna smash into a tower. Let's turn left. Good. Mortal Kombat, yes, we know Lamel. Dude, it's so good. I was about to ask you how your book is going. Also, what's the plot against some sort of techno city? That's my other book. That one's not not super far at all i have like a chapter written of that one at the max i just kind of started that one on the side when i was bored but we're not focusing on that until we're finished the current one the current one ara's journey is about 
a land that falls ill and, you know, loses its ability to grow food. You know, no vegetables, no flowers, no fruits. And uh, a royal assassin from this land goes to a village, some tiny shithole in the middle of nowhere, and uh, finds this girl with a cursed eye. And he's like, yo, you can help us not die. Because if we can't grow food, the entire empire is going to kick the bucket. And your little village is part of that empire. So you're fucked anyway, unless you help me. So she comes with him. And her eye can detect life. So some, some ground is not blighted. Some ground can still be used. And she can tell them what's what. What the fuck? You can fail quests? That's actually jokes. I've never seen that happen. I've never seen a quest being able to be failed in AC Origins. That's new. How did that happen? This is very curious. What the hell? Completed. Would you just have to accept it again? I don't get it. Quest failed. Reload quest objective. The priest asks for help in getting food back to the people after the Philakitai double the people's tithe to the Serapion for themselves. Huh. Did you even have that quest? It's an all. What the hell? Find and steal the cart. Dude. Where was all this cool stuff in the rest of the game? Because I just be having them house sit until I do them. I know that one. Don't know. It just says reload quest objective in quests menu. In any case, that's interesting. We learned something new. Today I learned. Till. Hmm. <laughs> the cart exploded or something <laughs> yeah probably drove into water or guards aggroed some other guards drove into fire i don't know something something stupid they drove all the way to memphis yep and then the driver died because the priest was like, yo, drink this concoction and trip out and fight the Chamber of Secrets final boss. And the dude was like, holy shit. I can't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm too weak. And then he gets killed. And then it fails a quest for a Magi like one billion miles in the other direction. Nice. Fantastic. Yo, drove all the way to Memphis is from Book of the Dead. I'm still shocked though. Dude, same. I'm like, you can do that? Wow. We're discovering all kinds of fancy things. You can fail them hoes. <laughs> yes, you can. Apparently. I always make the guards on horseback behind it sleep, then finesse it. Yeah, yeah, um, I really enjoy doing that to Falakis, like, just sleep them so they fall off the cart, and then stab them once, or, you know, just stealth attack them once to, like, chunk out a huge amount of their health, and then just literally walk backwards and pepper them with light arrows, and then, yeah. Pepper them with light arrows, build super, unleash super, Pepper them with more light arrows, build super, unleash super. 
If you had to go on a dangerous journey with someone, what fictional character would you want to have? A. Booker DeWitt B. Corvo or C. Ezio I would pick Corvo. Having a dude who can fucking stop time and just be anywhere instantly. That's like, there is no contest. Corvo is legitimately overpowered. Also, Corvo's whole thing is that he's supposed to protect people, right? And the only time he failed to do so, really, was when he encountered a magical assassin when he was just a dude with no magic himself. So, he has a pretty great track record on, on escort missions. Booker is a jackass, so no way I would journey with him. If I swapped Ezio with Altair, would it still be Corvo? No. Altair is too cool. Like, Corvo is the, the rational choice, but if I could, like, chill with Altair and journey together and, like, just, you know, talk shit about different parts of our lives and discuss all that, then, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with Altair. I don't even care. Is my favorite character of all time. I would be a fool to not take that chance. Then he got magic and beat that magic assassin's ass. Yes. Booker might have a mental breakdown in the middle of something. I'm good on him. <laughs> Real. Alright guys. I think I should cut it here. We'll do some more tomorrow. We'll have a good uh, good question and answer period tomorrow as well. Or just like a chill hangout time. Unless you want me to keep going. I mean, I know some of you just got here, but we're not doing much. I mean, I could... What could I do? What's around here? There's this fucking thing. Why not? Let's end it with a bang. I should be cautious around here. Biggest fort in the area. This could go super great or super bad. So yeah, this is the last thing I'm doing for tonight. And then we are out of here. I do have a quiz due before 12, but I'm too lazy. Alright, well, how about you do it for me? And I'll be super proud of you. <coughs> That's a target. That's an entrance. Ballista. There's gonna be a juggernaut in here. And lots of sleeping people. I'm gonna switch back to sleep because it's extremely strong. I arrived for at least the last thing. Nice. fighting ah, oh shit a civilian okay everybody's gonna die everybody just literally yeah hey what the yeah come here I dare you come investigate I know you want to cheese whiz you know you want it Dumb bitch. This dude's actually such Nothing. an idiot. I'm not sure the coast is clear though. Aren't you? The coast is super clear, man. Damn. Too easy. Oh, 
Found it. One more. We've got it. There are a lot of these people. Many, many. What? That's bullshit. I didn't know that people were off like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave and come back because I'm not fucking doing this the, the proper way. That's boring. We want to do it the cool way. The way that breaks the game and makes us look awesome. Interesting, so if you, um, if you sleep him once, and he, and if you sleep him once, you cannot reset a juggernaut sleep timer. That's very strange. I mean, you can give him a normal sleep timer if you berserk him beforehand, but, um, not normally. Can Senu harass that guy? Or is he like way too dazed for that? Nothing I haven't dealt with before. <sighs> bye bye, bitch. That guy's gonna die. And we're gonna watch him do it too. But before he does, he's gonna wipe out a few of his people for me. Unless he's not. Well, he's going somewhere. These guys have a deceptively large amount of HP, so Berserk does take quite a while to destroy them, but it will inevitably destroy them. Interesting. That's unusual. You cannot escape. Big dude's not dead, but neither is he coming after up. me. wandering around. Wait a minute.
Hey, not going anywhere. Damn it, hurry. Whoa. Hey, what? Wow. Spike chucked the smoke bomb over the edge. Oh, suicide to come without numbers. There must be more. They are not be lingering here. Help me that way. That doesn't look like normal smoke. Alarm! Alarm! Hey! Die, maggot! There's no way this is in patch. This guy's probably unique and like the big guy! Holy fuck. Uh, let's just climb up here. Nope. GG. Is it because he's higher level? No, level should not uh, make a difference. Although, maybe I'll turn scaling off and, uh, and see if it's possible. I think this juggernaut is different. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why he would be. It works on everybody else. I remember him as the hardest one, definitely. Yeah, I remember him as the hardest one as well. <laughs> no, Death Hunter. We're talking about a very specific tactic that works on everyone else. It's like a... One of them advanced moves. He's a quest target. Does that matter? It shouldn't be. Ash is pretty proud of this game being... Systemic and emergent to a degree. <laughs> try without scaling. Yeah, I'll try that. Uh, uh, yeah. Also, <laughs> wait, why is it daytime? Thank you. On site here. Oh, that guy's level 17. I might even be able to hit him, blade him, actually. Probably won't be able to hit him, blade him. Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> that would be funny though. So he's right there. As you can see, a headshot actually would chunk off a quarter of his HP. That's a non tiny amount. What? Dude. Dude just looked at me for a second. Did I dodge that by, like, left strafing just before firing? That was actually fucking sick. Can't hit that.
Ugh. This dude came down here. No. Okay. <laughs> you fight like a party and goat. How much longer? Hmm. Tool kill. Yeah, that's Berserk. Okay, so Lang was right. Level. He can't be. Uh, he can't be higher level than you. That's very interesting. Is that mentioned? Uh, Berserk. On a lower level, unaware enemy, and turn him against his allies. Yes, he has to be lower level than you. So, oh yeah, Kolya said bye. Shit, I didn't see. Bye, man. But yeah, new tech details. So yeah, um, if you're playing with scaling off, you can needle someone who's a lower level than you, even if they're a juggernaut, and they will auto-die. Extremely important. Alright, I'm gonna clear the rest of this fucking fort. Oh. Let's see how this goes. Hey! To me, brother! 24-7 stream. Lol. Hey! Hey, what? Whoa, ah, I thought you were there you are. ridiculous. Hey. I need... that. not risk it until I can actually line up a shot. That guy's dead. Yep. And treasures. I miss my Senu detection range TBH.
Who's looking at me? That guy? up here. Down here? It's inside this house. And we are done. This place is complete. 1000 XP for this. Wow, hefty rewards. Boils and ghouls. Uh, are there any people for me to murder? Oh, there's that guy. And that guy. And this guy. We'll make our way in those directions. For this hilariousness. Dead. Okay, I guess not. That's fine. Okay. Got get them the real Kenzo moves, Leo. What are you doing, lol? I'm just, you know, you just poisoned him and waited. Yeah. Bombs are so good. The game is so good when it's patched, guys. Leo, I need help with a math question. Now, two plus two is four. Okay, that's fine. But if you minus one, that's three. You know, do you like a how? <laughs> The game is so good, guys. Masterpiece, yes. After all the patches, guys. So good, guys. Best game. I was so proud when I figured out you can throw darts at a fire. But were you proud when you figured out you could do this? Three? 
Your time has come. Die already. This guy is the most confused soldier in ancient Greece. He has no idea what to do. He's not even facing me. Even reading people praising Unity ironically, dude, it triggers the shit out of me, I will tell you. Unity has catch ledge, look at how much depth it has. Dude, same. <laughs> It's like, wow, such mechanics, very gameplay. Wait a minute, can I? <laughs> tries to back eject, gets detected. I see you! Put an arrow in the <laughs> You literally should not have stepped off the ladder. <laughs> Players like Leo K and Treviso truly demonstrate how incredible Unity is when you master its systems and mechanics. Silly Leo, that's old games. You pass through people on ladders, yes. I actually liked AC Unity, it had some great stuff in it. It was fine, I guess. It's just... When you play it so much, and you really, you know... <laughs> Just, when, when you play it so much... I... I don't even... I don't even know how to, how to talk about it, like... <laughs> I don't, it, it's just, it, let, okay, it just reveals itself to you, man. It, it just, re, it reveals its true colors, you know, like, <laughs> I have an abuser, really, yeah, dude, same, you, like, okay, here's the way I say it, like, man, I love, I, I want to love AC Unity, I just, I just wish it loved me too, I wish it loved me back. But it doesn't. It's like, no, fuck you. I'm gonna go and fuck 10 billion guys and be super distant and frigid at you. And I'm like, wow, you could at least make sure all your phantom blades actually shoot out when I press the button instead of just freezing in my bracer and then not doing it. That might be nice. Like... <laughs> That might be cool, if I press a button and it actually does something, that would be great, actually. Like, I think I would enjoy that very much. You know what else would be cool, actually? This shit right here, you see this? This reload quest objective thing? Dumbest button ever made. Honestly, I would, ra I would rather this didn't even exist. Because in its current state, when you press this thing... <laughs> yeah, Lang, that's, that's pretty much the best analogy. Like, when it works, and when it lets you do it, oh, so good. But 99% of the time, it's like, no. You don't get to do that. But yeah, this, this button right here. This pisses me off. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy. But yeah, this button right here, terrible. Awful button. Like literally just misleading. This this shit is false advertising. 
when you press this button, the game has like, it just basically rolls dice. And depending on the dice it rolls, it decides which guards am I going to respawn, which guards are going to stay dead. Um, show Pi the failed quest. Oh yeah, Pi, did you know you can... I don't even know what to say about this game. It's just completely back to normal. It's probably because I died. Yeah, it's because I died. And since I died, it reloaded the checkpoint, and now it's back up again. Crazy. But yeah, Spy, apparently you can fail quests in this game. I had no idea. Like, that's actually crazy. Have you ever failed a quest in this game? When your phone don't want to act right, but when you show people it works fine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, it was broken this morning, I swear. You have? Really? What quest did you fail? That's the entire reason that exists. Well, at least it sort of vaguely helps us make videos. Not much, though. <laughs> Alright, Trevi, I'll see you later. I think I'll probably end stream right here as well. And we'll have tons of fun together tomorrow. Thank you super much to everybody who came out. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, tomorrow we're going to kill the lizard and also fight a big ass snake boss. It's going to be interesting. Bye bye.